Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover how to add user defined object in the hash map. To explain this, I have created this sample program. First, I will run this program and I will explain. This is the output of uh, this sample program. Inside main method, I am creating hash map. Uh, in hash map, I am specifying key should be integer, value should be employee object. Now we will see the employee class. The class employee has uh, three variables name, age, and salary. And it has uh, employee constructor which accepts uh, name, age, and salary. Using this constructor, we can create the employee object. Then uh, it has uh, getter and setter methods for uh, these three variables. Then I have overridden uh, two string method. This method will return employee information. Here I am creating uh, three employee objects, John, David and uh, Peter. Uh, then in hash map, I am adding uh, three key value pairs. Uh, key is employee ID and value is employee object. Then I am displaying the hash map content. Here you can see the hash map output. Uh, this is the first uh, key value pair. Key is employee ID, value is employee object. This is the second uh, key value pair. Key is employee ID and uh, value is uh, employee object. And uh, this is the third uh, key value pair. Key is uh, employee ID and uh, value is uh, employee object. Then I am calling uh, entry set method of uh, hash map. This method will return set and uh, this set will contain entry objects. Uh, here you can see the output. This is the first entry object. This is the second entry object. This is the third entry object. Then using for each loop, I am getting each entry object from the set. And once I get the entry object, I am calling uh, get key method of entry object to get the employee ID. Uh, then I am calling uh, get value method of entry object to get the employee object. Then I am displaying the combination of uh, employee ID and uh, employee object. Uh, here you can see the output. And uh, this is about uh, how to add user defined object in the hash map. And uh, thanks for watching.